The simplest and most common way to fall the tree is to put a standard scarf cut at the front, followed by a back cut. The back cut stops short of the scarf, leaving a section of wood fibres called the hinge wood, because it works like a hinge as the tree falls. Let's have a look at the role each of these elements plays in producing a safe and accurate directional fall. The scarf cut sends the tree in the direction you want it to go in, and breaks the hinge wood at the right time to give you maximum control over the fall. Its depth should generally be between a quarter and a third of the diameter of the tree, and for hardwood the angle should be between 30 and 45 degrees. Other species may have different angles and depths that work best for them. So if you're ever unsure about the optimum scarf size for the tree you're about to fall, you should check with your trainer or another expert operator. The two cuts need to meet exactly at the scarf line, without any overcuts or undercuts. The bottom of the scarf should also be level. It's important to get the scarf right, because various things can go wrong if you don't. For example, if the opening is too narrow, the scarf will close too early and break the hinge wood before the tree's fall is under control. This is likely to affect the direction of the fall. It might also cause the tree to split up or slab. The same problems might occur if the two cuts don't meet on the scarf line because one of them is overcut, or if the scarf isn't level or if one side doesn't match up properly, even if the other side does. Remember, it's the hinge wood that controls the fall and stops the tree from twisting or breaking sideways, and any errors in the scarf will have an effect on the shape and performance of the hinge. Once the scarf cut is done, we're able to put the back cut in. The back cut should be level and slightly higher than the scarf line. In most cases, the extra height will be one-tenth of the diameter of the tree. So on a tree that's 500 mil in diameter, the back cut will be 50 mil higher than the scarf line. This step up helps to stop the tree from slipping backwards over the stump when it's released. In general, the depth of the back cut should allow the width of the hinge wood to be one-tenth of the tree's diameter. Again, on a 500mm tree, this will be 50mm. But there are times when the tree may call for the hinge to be cut on a taper, so you can pull the direction of the fall away from the tree's natural lean. In these cases, there will be variations to the one-tenth rule, but we'll talk more about that in section 6.